God, they're just everything wrong with the world, aren't they? Oh, we just hate them all. We hate them. We hate our dad. Dads and our uncles and our boyfriends if you're in a cis het relationship. It's just disgusting. We're not saying that we hate our fathers. Jordan Peterson, but... Listen, I don't make the rules, it's your own rules. Your own rules within your own community and a lot of people in communities such as yours that if you do not fit a certain standard, then you shouldn't be speaking. You have no right to talk about anything. So if it was made by fat black women for fat black women, where do you fit in? Do you know what I mean? But it's like, if you can't even agree with yourselves, then like, how are we supposed to get on board? If you can't even agree with yourselves, then like, how are we supposed to agree with you and accept it and get on board with it? Like, you have to have your first, you have to have first, you have to have... All the gays in the world, hello, including all of you out there. Hello, gays. If you do not all get it together before, before we vote for whether you are allowed marriage or not, hello, women. Women, if you cannot get it amongst yourselves about abortion rights, none of you should have a say because you can't get it together. If, if, if all of you together, all, every single woman says that you should be allowed to vote, then I will let you all vote. Okay, women? It's, a, it's just a book that I don't understand. I don't get it. Um, um. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments below if that is correct. I don't know. Close your mouth, with You look like a trout. Hello, hello. I'm so sorry today, Triboy Elia is not available. I am available today. I am the special guest, Svetlana Pavlova Zhitarchuk. Today we are going to take a deep dive into the world of Sarah L. Um, I believe her name is Young, Dumb, Honey Bone. And my qualifications. This is where I went to school. This is the department I went into. And this is my degree. Okay, so let's move on. I have a few I have a few things to say right off the bat. My few observations today. I just wanted to make it clear that this woman here, she needs help. So please do not judge her. We all have feelings. I want to take a look at a video called um, I do not understand fat acceptance. Now, I am going to just show this. Everyone, how are you today? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you just stumbled across this video. Um, how are you today? Let me know in the comments. I'm great. I'm just drinking my absolute favorite toffee nut latte from Starbucks. Yes. And I have my little gingerbread cookie candle on because it's officially festive season. Uh, this woman here, Young Dan Honeybun, she is an influencer. She um, shows off her coffee. And I have my little gingerbread cookie. And her little gingerbread candle. So it is not a it is not about some centralized can... topics. Her uh, her uh, how you say whole channel is based on is not based on sens sensationalized topics is what I want to say. And to show you just how excited I am, I'm going to put myself through watching some fat acceptance and body positive mm -hmm. TikToks and see what I think about them. I have a feeling some of them are going to be outrageous, <sighs> some of them are going to be cringy, some of them are going to be. Maybe reasonable, who knows, we shall see. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go into it. And so if you are interested uh, to see me in pain, welcome, mm -hmm. glad you could make it. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> if yes, you're a weirdo yes. dip your fries in ranch, you're gonna be shook. You're not gonna believe what I found and you got me messed up if you actually think I'm gonna use this for chocolate. Cause no, I literally had to put- Close your mouth, sweetie, you look like a trout. My name precedes me. I am very famous in my field. My name is, again, for all of you that do not know, it is Svetlana Pavlova Zhetorchuk, and I am a therapist in Russia. Here's a... Do you need to see where I, my qualifications again? This is where I went to school. This is my degree. And this is the department I was in. So much mayo ranch. Uh, we don't really have ranch here in the UK. Holy fuck, that's like a liter. <laughs> Sweetie, ranch is just mayonnaise and sour cream with some dill and other other herbs, but um, go off, sis. I'm just looking at it. And, uh, that's 
That's so much. Does it have milk in it? Isn't it gonna go off? Oh my god, that is so much. Here's the thing. Oh god, I'm trying to find a way where this would be acceptable to me. And maybe at a party, maybe at like a big gathering, this would be kind of a cool idea. Uh -huh. Um, That is so much. Oh my god. I mean, listen, live your best life, I guess. Um, Here's the thing. Oh. This person isn't like crying fat phobia, so for as uh, uh, you know, as far as I know, they're just enjoying the huge fountain of sauce and living the best life. And so, you know, my issues usually start when you start like blaming other people. But if you're like, some people, some people enjoy junk, vegan pizza and alcohol, and others enjoy ranch. Hey, I'm fat um, because I literally have a fountain of ranch in my house and i don't really care and you know it's it's cool i'm not hurting anyone else you know i mean fair dues i mean you could probably start um arguing about the taxpayers and the nhs in the uk but i think that's a separate yes. discussion but right now apart from the outrageous amount and the weird faces she's making i mean go off i guess so much ranch but also why is it so satisfying going up the tube but also if this is not content for you if you do not like her faces if you do not like ranch why are you watching it you just like sensational okay never mind i'm so sorry i'm so sorry um i do know that uh young dumb honey bun enjoys sensation talking about sensationalized topics that is her passion she likes talking about inflammatory topics uh, in a very biased way to... Oh, I haven't been writing anything. This is invisible ink just for me to see. It started working and now I... And hello, Brenna. can die happy knowing that this exists. Tag a friend who dips everything in... Okay, I have like a weird thing where people think that like squishing the face down and like making cross-eyed kind of faces is like funny like uh -huh, I, uh -huh. <laughs> like don't get me wrong sometimes it can be funny but when like that's the entire thing of a joke that kind of makes mm -hmm. me cringe a little bit so i don't really get it I, you know and i mean that's a lot of sauce that's a lot of sauce and i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh my god you're so unhealthy because today i'm not in the mood for that but that is a lot of sauce. I mean, your arteries are probably crying at the same time, though I can see how this would be a cool concept for like a wedding or something. I don't know, you know? Mm -hmm. I'd, mm, fair uh, enough, fair enough. Thank you, thank you. It's a tough one, it's a tough one because I can see it as... I just don't see it as a good... Why would you have it in your house? Like, wouldn't it go off? Like, wouldn't it... Like, imagine the nightmare of cleaning it as well. And like, where did you get so much sauce? Girl, you are preaching to the choir. I would hate to clean... I would hate to clean it, especially if it had chocolate in it. This is a Russian accent. Did you have to go out there and like buy like a restaurant sized like bucket that they get in like pubs to like... Oh my God, I just... I don't know. But maybe... I, oh, I don't know. I'm I'm torn on this one. You can let me know what you think down below. Mm. You can let me know. Would you have this in your house? Is it different than chocolate? I personally wouldn't have it whether it was chocolate or ketchup or any other sauce that I really enjoy. Like I just wouldn't have it in my house because here's the thing, right? This is Is the argument whether you would have a ranch fountain in your house or not? Is that the conversation here? Wait. I came I came to to do a, a deep dive analysis on the psychology, a psych perspective on on this therapist here. Are we just arguing whether we would have a ranch fountain in our... Wait. Okay, stream over. No, I would not. Stream over. Was that it? Oh, okay. No, 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 no. This video needs the expertise and the qualifications of the therapist Svetlana Pavlova Zhitarchuk because apparently anyone can say they're a therapist. This is like my logic with it. Because it's officially Christmas, it's also officially bulking season. <laughs> Which means, like, especially as a Paul, like, I cook loads, I eat loads over Christmas, I feed everyone around me, I feed myself, like, I just, I love it so much because it's Christmas time and I just want to feed everyone. That is so sweet. I can, I can relate as a Russian woman. I can really relate to that because I love cooking, I love feeding, and I love eating. I love eating! <laughs> Stuff like that. And so, you know, it's that time of the year. Um, however... The yes, thing I yes. do notice is if I put out She's so giving, Rebecca. She's so giving. Pies, we will go through them in a day. Uh -huh. Like, uh -huh. because they're just out and you can see them. And so you're going out, you grab one, you come in, you grab one, you have one while you're cooking. So if you just have a huge ranch fountain 
on your bench on your beautiful island whilst you are cooking and you're just gonna dip everything in it like i feel like i would be tempted like even if i was just cooking and i'm like slicing the cucumber i'd just take it okay so this is what i heard about um young dumb honey bun does not have self-control she does not have the willpower to have this ranch fountain in her house. And Young Dumb Honey Bun is jealous. She is jealous of the fat acceptance community because they are allowed to have ranch fountains in their house and she could not resist the urge to just eat all the ranch. All of the mayonnaise, sour cream and dill mixed together. Ranch. She could not resist. Yeah, and like dip it in. So I feel like that's, you know, not, maybe not the best thing to have. Um, I agree, I agree. You know, you do not have self-control. You keep it out of your house. Are you going to eat all those chips? Keep it out of your house. Very good advice. As a qualified therapist, the same qualifications that Sarah has, I would agree. I'm chilling because I feel like you're going to end up drinking that shit. Like, you're going to end up eating so much of it. Like, you're going to yes. end up going through like a liter of it at once. Which, if you a don't liter. mind it, mm -hmm. listen... As I said, yo, she's not really doing anything wrong as far as I'm concerned, she's not crying about fat phobia. And so whilst this might not be the way of spending, you know, your free time for me personally, if you're uh -huh. happy, you're happy. Great, keep doing what you're doing, I guess. <laughs> Can you imagine like coming home one day after work, like if you're like living with this person or whatever, and you're like, oh, did you manage to like get the groceries on the way back home? And she's like, yeah, and she just pulls out like just one singular huge tube of ranch sauce to like refill the fountain that you have in your house. Oh my goodness, I did not know. I thought I was doing a deep dive analysis. I had no clue that I was listening to comedy ban today. Oh my goodness, that is so funny. That is so funny. She really she really knows how to hit my funny bone. Oh my goodness, her humor. I just love it. I love it. I love it. All of my ladies out there, this summer, we will not be putting up with unappreciative men. These people scare me so much. <laughs> it's the passive aggressive, like, these people scare me so much. <laughs> oh, big fear, it's the fear. aggressive, like, can you passive remember in our last video, the lady was like, hello, friend, like, yes, I can tell you yes, this. Yes, yes. You're, like, fatphobic and this and that, and, like, she yes. went into and saw people, and I was like, oh, my God, like, I just love when people talk to me like a child. <laughs> I find that a lot of the time she loves these it. people okay. also do it where they like change the tone very quickly and they go yes, from being like quite that, nice that. Yeah, and like, oh, okay this is nice uh -huh. to them being like so serious and so mean and you're like oh, da, da, oh da. this is the wrong video like I didn't click for this like and now I feel like I'm just the worst person ever Young Dumb Holly but did you, did you just say that? Did you just say that? Mrs. I make videos about fat people and the marginalized communities and clown pronouns and just literally just shitting on them. Set and I look <laughs> good as hell. Well, I sent a photo to a man and his response was, that's a nice color on you. So I'm guessing the compliment wasn't good enough. <laughs> no, we will not be putting up with that. I just blessed you with my beauty and that's your response. No. She's fucking crazy. <laughs> Whoa. I'm guessing because he wasn't like, Oh my god, goddess, you are the most beautiful person in the entire world and the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. Is that, like, not good enough then? What is happening? I'd be like, all right, great, thanks. Like, I'd This woman is saying that she would love any compliment. She just loves the compliments. Men, men, you comment on her blouse, she says thank you. I love it so much. You say, you say great ass, she says, oh my god, thank you so much, that is such a great compliment. Oh, really? I feel like Sarah has lost her point, similar to how I have lost my Russian accent, okay? I find myself defending Amberlynn when I watch Young Dumb Honey Bun, because I've watched Young Dumb Honey Bun for so long. And Young Dumb Honey Bun is not just a reaction channel. Young Dumb Honey Bun has shared her life with us. So we know some bits and pieces about her life. And when her advice or her criticism to Amberlynn does not mirror how she is showing us her life, how she is only showing us her working out one day a week, 
when she literally shows everything she does on Instagram. That is why people want to comment. That is why people want to say, how, how can you say this about Amberlin and still do this? Do you understand what I'm saying? Imagine if Owen replied to Young the Money Bun, sending him a sexy, a sexy bikini pic. And he just said, that's a nice color. Should be like, the color? The color. Bitch, look at my body. Tell me how beautiful my body is. How dare you just talk about the color? You know that's what she would say. Come on, you guys. Would you, not, would you not just take the compliment? You know Young the Money Bun will give him the pick free! <laughs> you take a fire song, send it to me, send it to your friends. We will be way more appreciative of it than any cis hat man out there. Know your worth, lady! Yeah, fuck all the cis hat men out there for giving you a compliment that wasn't up to your inexpressed standards. God, they're just everything wrong with the world, aren't they? Oh, we just hate them all. We hate them. We hate our dads and our uncles and our boyfriends if you're in a cis-het relationship. It's just disgusting. <laughs> we have officially crossed over into young, dumb Jordan Peterson Honeybun territory. I am so sorry, but for somebody that quotes and talks about Russell Brand, Ricky Gervais, and Jordan Peterson as much as Yagda Malibut does. We're not saying that we hate our fathers. Jordan Peterson, but... Yeah, skinny people that have mental illness um, that makes them think and feel like their body looks different than what it actually is. Are you sure you're not just being fatphobic? That's crazy to me. The fact that you can actually take someone who arguably is in fact victimized or is in fact a minority or is in fact in some way disadvantaged, right? Because they have a mental health condition or they have like full on diagnosed mental illness that actually alters their relationship with their body, mm -hmm. but they just happen to be thin. Mm -hmm you can mm -hmm. then say that they're actually bigoted. And you can say, actually, that's invalid. You're just trying to oppress me. But imagine if someone said to a person, hey, you're just fat, but that person actually had body dysmorphia. All of the movement would immediately jump on you and say that you're a fat phobe, you're a bigot, because this... Everybody in the fat community would just jump on you. How dare they, those fat people, jumping on you when you're fat phobic? How dare they? If you say anything about, it's almost as if if you're skinny, people don't look at you in the same way that they look at you if you're fat. A dysfunctional relationship with their body because of a mental illness, you would be called all kinds of names. But if that same scenario is applied to someone who they don't respect, like a skinny person, then it's not an actual diagnosis. It's just that they're making it up just so they can oppress fat people. Young Dum Honeyman. You, you're talking about how if, if somebody doesn't fit the fat mold, they don't want them in the fat acceptance. It's almost as if people can have preferences. Oh, no. I thought we were talking about preferences the other day. How, oh, some people aren't allowed preferences. Okay, not that, 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 that exactly. But Young Dam Honeybun, similar to how Young Dam Honeybun said that she would not listen to, to you if you do not have a degree, if you do not have a PhD or whatever in... in in what you're talking about, she will not listen to you. Maybe if you are not fat, it's almost as if you belong in a different category. Or if you come to a discussion about black people being oppressed in America, and you start talking about how Italians were slaves back in the day, that might be a little controversial, because we're not talking about Italians back in the day. We are talking about African American people in the US. So if you come into a conversation about fat acceptance or talking about fat people and you want to say, I also have an eating disorder, they might say, I love that for you. I understand your struggle, but we're talking about the opposite struggle. So you may have an eating disorder, but you don't, you're not fat like we are. If anybody, you would think Young Dem Honeybird would understand this. Hey, I'm fat um, because I literally have a fountain of ranch in my house and I don't really care. And, you know, it's, it's cool. I'm not hurting anyone else. It's insanity. This weird logic of excluding people who are skinny, of like being like, of, of a crying, crying yes. about behaviors that they then 
do to other people, to skinny people, is just something I will never get my head around. It's mm. like, you know, it's like, oh, fat people are excluded from a lot of activities and excluded from a lot of social events and excluded from opportunities. And then someone's like, hey, I'm, you know, not obese, but maybe a little bit smaller. Can I please be in the body positivity movement? And they'll be like, no, you have skinny privilege. No, you can't. I agree. It's kind of annoying when you're, when you are not gay enough when you are not fat enough, when you are not nerdy enough to be in a certain group and you feel left out. I understand that. And people saying, oh, you're not, you're not fat enough to be, to be in a body positivity, uh, how you say, movement because you are not as big as we are. You have skinny privilege. I understand how annoying that can be. Yes. Yes, that's understandable, of course. Come in, this movement isn't for you, and they will exclude those people on the basis of their bodies. The exact same thing that they were just crying about, yes. of other people doing to them. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I yes. never said I was a good person. I never said I was giving contribution to society vibes. Like I can see what I mean. Where they will outright say, I. They. They will all outright say all of all of them all of them. All of them will say this. Oh, every single fat person will say this. How dare they? All fat people do not care about skinny shaming. How dare all of them for this one thing? How dare they? Society vibes. Like, hey, I'm Jamie Rose. What they will outright say, I hate skinny people. Uh -huh, I hate uh -huh. thin people. Uh -huh. The thins, the skinnies. But you can't say that about them and also like that will that will literally earn you the, the badge of a bigot if you dared to say like i don't care about fat phobia but this person can say like i don't care about skinny shaming and so it's this double standard that i don't understand i don't get it um since you don't understand little girl let svetlana pavlova Zhitarchuk explain it to you if you come into any movement or cause and start saying, well, I matter too, you may get a little pushback because it's not about you right now. It's about them right now. It's similar to going to a Black Lives Matter rally and talking about how all lives matter. All lives have always mattered, bitch. We're talking about black lives right now. And it's clear to anyone with two brain cells if somebody says, fuck skinny people. Obviously, that's wrong, but no, please continue to use inflammatory examples of activists and perpetuate the stigma that those communities are filled with unreasonable radical activists. What happened to showing both sides to the Green McGee? What happened to both sides in your circle jerk with Russell Brand, Ricky Gervais, and Jordan Peterson, hmm? Do you get it now? And it's the same with, like, exclusion of people who are thin on the basis that they are thin from body positivity movements like you cannot be in the body positivity movement you cannot be positive about your body if you are skinny it's it, it's so insane to me it's not a movement for everyone the body positive movement is a movement created by fat black women for fat black women and she says as a white woman <laughs> And I don't make the rules, it's your own rules. Your own rules within your own community. These sensationalized TikToks, these inflammatory TikToks are the standard for all fat people. Every fat person feels that way. Every person in the body positivity, fat acceptance community feels the way that this woman does right here. Black women. She says, as a white woman. <laughs> this woman is not narrow-minded. She is not one-dimensional. She is definitely not looking to shit on these movements and just show horrible examples. Or maybe not even horrible examples, just a few examples of what it's really like with for some people in the fat acceptance community. I'm not supporting everybody. I'm not... I'm not shitting on everybody. I'm saying there's a neutral ground. Why am I in the fat acceptance community talking about it? I, if, if you are not fat, Sarah, if you are a midweight like you, like you like to admit, why are you talking about the fat community? How are they affecting you at all? I'm, I'm just a little, I'm a little confused. I'm trying to listen. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it. So everybody, please be patient with me. Listen, I don't make the rules. It's your own rules. Your own rules within your own community. And a lot of people in communities such as yours that if you yes. do not fit a certain standard, then you shouldn't be speaking. You have no right 
to talk about anything. So if it was made by fat black women for fat black women, where do you fit in? Poor, poor young dumb honey bun. She has two degrees and she's still this stupid. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do with this little girl? It's almost as if skinny white people have been the standard forever and people that do not fit that mold would like some representation. It's almost as if people that have been oppressed or been a part of marginalized communities have a little something in common. <laughs> She's so fucking stupid. And that's not me saying it, that's your own community because I personally think that anyone can speak on anything that they want no matter of what group they belong to, no matter if they are a part of a minority or a majority or what the race is, what the colour of the skin is, what ethnicity they are, it doesn't matter what sexual orientation they are, it doesn't, it doesn't matter to me, an opinion is an opinion and it should be heard. However, by the standards of your own community, if this movement was by people of colour, fat, fat black women as you say, for other fat black women, then where do you fit in to talk about it? Why are you speaking on it? Also, I have questions, so like if you- Maybe because fat black women said, hey, this is open for everybody that's fat now. We want everybody that's fat in the, in the conversation. Did you know that black people could not vote in the US back in the day? Did you know that women, women could not, like you, Oh, I'm so sorry. You are a CGI influencer. You have no gender. I'm sorry. You're not. I'm so sorry. You are a CGI. Uh, you're the CGI influencer. I'm so sorry. That was so offensive. I did not mean to say um, you're wrong. So I forgot what I was saying. Why are you speaking on it? Also, I have questions. So, like, if you can be completely disqualified Legna. from the body position Legna. just because you're skinny, what about all the other people who are skinny but also want to be in the body positivity movement, for example, like a, a someone who is disabled or someone who is, for example, a burn victim who also wants to be body positive, who wants to show people that there's nothing wrong with their body, no matter what their body looks like and whatever else the community stands for. Are they no longer allowed in because they're skinny? So would that person then have to gain weight to do? I'm so sorry. What? Why the fuck do you care? <laughs> or like, well, what, how does it work? Like, if if you're skinny like you're not allowed in at all or is there some kinds of like terms and conditions because i don't understand how people you know are allowed into these movements and who decides who decides who's allowed into these movements do people like elect a spokesperson for the body positivity movement do they have like elections like where it's like oh yep this person is the speaker this person uh, represents all of us because it's such a huge online mostly thing that like elections like where it's like oh yep this person is the speaker this person uh, represents all of us because it's such a huge online mostly thing that like so why the fuck are you obsessing over if it's a mostly online thing no no one's gonna vote for anybody you idiot oh my goodness i'm so sorry i'm so sorry three, three boy Ilya, please stop trying to voice while i'm talking i just lip synced your hateful thoughts I do not believe that because I am a therapist and I do not talk like that. I am Svetlana Pavlova Zhutruchuk, okay? Hello, everybody. I want to introduce you to two, two, two degree McGee. Again, we're talking about these anomalies and these disagreements, dis disagreeables, dis dis disagreements. Thank right you. On the page. <laughs> oh, my, my brain switched to English. Um, these disagreements within the community. And it's like, if you in your own community can't come to some sort of agreement, then how is everyone outside of your community supposed to agree with you and accept it and get on board with it? Like, you have to have your first... If you gays can't get it together, if you gays can't decide whether you want to be with men, if you want to be with men and women, if you want to be in multiple relationships... Oh, oh. Excuse me, three boy earlier, can you please stop talking? I'm I'm lip syncing everything you're saying. Agree with you and accept it and get on board with it. Like you have to have your first you have to have first you have to have All the gays in the world. Hello, including all of you out there. Hello gays. If you do not all get it together before before we vote for whether you are allowed marriage or not, if you do not all get it together, one consensus I want you to come to a consensus about what you gays, lesbians, and trans people, the LGBT, I want you all. Let's not even talk about fat acceptance anymore. 
I want you all to just come to a consensus, please. And then we can vote if, if you are real people, okay? Thank you. If you do not all have one singular idea, if you do not just have these, these binary thoughts, black and white, about your sexual orientation or your existence, you cannot get married, okay? I'm just letting you know that. I will, I will revoke your powers to get married if you do not know exactly what you all want. All, all millions of you gay people and LGBT people, all of you out there, all of you out there, if you want rights, you all have to come to one consensus or we won't take you seriously. Is basically what this bitch is saying. Three boy Ilya, I fucking swear. You just made me swear. Svetlana Pavlova Zhitarchuk does not swear when she is doing her therapist job. Apparently anyone can say they are a therapist, okay? Have your foundations. Get out of here, and then get, Okay, everyone in the group agrees? Yeah, yeah, everyone's yeah? Okay, cool. Now we can go out and be like, hey, everyone else who wasn't on board before, listen to us and get on board. Hi, and CC. Us and, you know, help us smash the... the patriarchy or whatever it is that they stand for or smash the uh, institute smash the like button please smash the like button everybody three boy Ilya, i motherfucking swear institutional yeah. fat phobia whatever it is that they claim that exists do you know what i mean but it's like if you can't even agree with yourselves then like how are we supposed to get on board if you can't even agree with yourselves then like how are we supposed to hello women women if you cannot get it amongst yourselves about abortion rights, none of you should have a say because you can't get it together. If, a, if, if all of you together, all, every single woman says that you should be allowed to vote, then I will let you all vote. Okay, women? If all of you come to one consensus, then you can all vote. If even one of you say that maybe we shouldn't be allowed to vote because of God or whatever, or because of the man, then no, no vote get on board with it as well and other marginalized bodies then people are not marginalized stop co-opting it i also don't understand the hierarchy right so there's this hierarchy of like oppression there's this there's this whole movement of like what's called the oppression olympics where people just try and yes sarah you would know about the oppression olympics because you love to bring up that you are an immigrant a white immigrant that moved to a majority white to another majority white especially the of the people in power you're such a minority oh no poor you little girl actually there aren't very many polish people in the uk so i cannot end my minority you are one to talk miss oppression olympics you cannot take that anyone has has suffered more than you because you you came to the you with to the uk with no language really make sure that someone else is you know more oppressed than them or less oppressed than them and based on the level of the supposed oppression that you experience that's that decides whether or not you're allowed to speak on certain issues which i'm also not on board with because i don't care what you look like you can speak on whatever it is that you want to speak on um however so going by that logic right by saying that like fat phobia is rooted in racism and then that like this is institutionalized and fat black women are more oppressed than like white fat women and all of these things right help me understand this like genuinely so therefore if this fat white woman is saying right help me advise i'm so sorry i'm so sorry are you interested are you are you interested in these topics or do you need us to help you understand Wait, which one is it? Fatphobia is rooted in racism and then that like this is institutionalized and fat black women are more oppressed than like white fat women and all of these things, right? Help me understand this, like genuinely. So therefore, if this fat white woman is saying that no skinny... I will help you understand. A fat black woman is, has a double oppression because if she goes to the doctors and wants pain medication, the doctor might think that the black woman is abusing the medication, but the white woman might not be abusing the medication. That's number one. That's number one, just being a black woman. Being a fat black woman, now your doctor thinks you're abusing medication and that your illness is just because you're fat. 
That is why a fat black woman is a little more oppressed than a fat white woman. Just because you genuinely, she genuinely asks for my opinion as a therapist in Russia from Svetlana Pavlova Zhdurchuk. Genuinely. So therefore, if this fat woman and all of these things, right, help me understand this, like genuinely. I just did, I so just therefore, did. Mm-hmm. if this fat white woman is saying that no skinny people are allowed in her movement, the movement that she's representing and a part of, Similar to how Young Damhaniban is a representation and a part of Polish people in the UK, but here we do not make generalizations about all Polish people living in the UK because of one dumb idiot Sarah. However, fat black women are more oppressed. Does that mean that if a plus-sized woman of color comes here into this into this comment section and says, actually, on the hierarchy of this community, I'm higher than this woman and skinny people are allowed in, does that mean they're then allowed in? I'm not going to say we because I, I don't classify myself as like a skinny person um, because I think I'm mid-size. But do you know what I mean? Because there's like this... I know exactly what you mean. Yes, young dumb honey bun. Because this is the same word salad, mental gymnastics, gaslighting that white men have done all of these years. Women, why can't you get it together? Gays, why can't you get it together? Which one is it? Black or white? Really? Really? Please do not say the phrase, I don't understand how all of these things can be institutionalized. Bitch, slavery wasn't even that long ago in the US and in the UK. Are you motherfucking kidding me? Hierarchy where it's like, white people can't talk on the behalf of black people and so in this movement, can black people let skinny people in? Because they have more of a hierarchy. I don't know. I don't understand all of these things. Maybe- I don't. Oh my god. I'm so. I'm just so. I just don't know anything. Oh my god. I'm just so. I, I don't know. Can you please. Please let me know this. Even though. I have been talking about. Fat people. And identity politics. Here and there. Because. I'm showing. By my language. That I'm looking at. Some conservative views. Just by her language. Maybe I'm just, I've said this before, maybe I'm just too old. Maybe this is what getting old is like. To the point where sometimes I say something and people are like, whoa, you're like a traditional, like, conservative Christian. And I'm like, I'm like a 90s baby. Like, I was like a baby in the 90s. Like, I w- I'm born 98. And I'm already being called a prude. Is this what being old is like? <laughs> like, I can't keep up with the kids. I can't keep up with the hierarchies and, like, who is what and what it all means and the neo pronouns and stuff like i can't keep did she just say she was born in 98 but also a baby in the 90s and what do you mean these topics interest you you have no fucking clue about any of these topics you think you'll do a little more research because before you start speaking on the topics well and so in this movement can black people let skinny people in because they have more of a hierarchy. I don't know. I don't understand all of these things. Maybe I'm just, I've said this before, maybe I'm just too old. Maybe this is what getting old is like. To the no, point where no. sometimes I say something and people are like, no. whoa, you're like a traditional like conservative Christian. And I'm like. No, no one's calling you a conservative Christian. They're calling you a bigot. Like I was. They're calling you transphobic. They're calling you homophobic. They're calling you fatphobic. They're not calling you conservative Christian good girl. No. It's like a baby in the 90s. Like, I w- I'm born 98, and I'm already being called a prude. Is this what being old is like? No, <laughs> like, I not at all. Kids. Not at I all. I can't keep up with the hierarchies and, like, who is what and what it all means and the neo pronouns. Then stop talking about it. Why are you talking about it if you can't keep up with it? Is it just me that's this confused? What is going on? Am I listening to words or am I listening to a fantastical story? What is going on here? I'm so confused. Let's just move on. And stuff like I can't keep up with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ex fat people are kind of the worst. Like, great for you. You lost weight. You did what you wanted to do for yourself, hopefully. Um, why do you have to bring other people down, though? I mean, I'm, I mean, first of all, she has a great point, but also she may be, yes, she may be a little jealous that somebody was able to lose the weight. It's hard. Is that so hard for three, two degree McGee that was offered a PhD, apparently? Is that re- really that hard for her to understand? I don't know. 
I'm telling you what? what? Unlearning fat phobia will help you. Is my whole thing. I also find it interesting that the same people who will scream, listen to fat bodies, listen to fat people, like fat people have struggles you don't understand because you've never been fat, which is fair. Mm -hmm. Completely agree. Completely agree. Thank you for saying that, young man, Hangman, because it is fair, right? Somebody that's fat will have different experiences than someone that's not fat. That's fair. Thank you. Everybody, this is a good thing for young dumb honey bun, okay? Point. What it's like for my joints to really hurt because, for example, I carry too much weight on me, right? I have never yet experienced what it's like to, yes. you know, sit in a sit in an airplane seat and like not be able to fit. Okay, so maybe that one day will come. I don't know. Hopefully not. However, I can never say, right? I can never say that it won't ever happen to me. So I totally get when you're like, you need to listen to the people who have experienced this so we can like tell you about our life and experience. Okay, fair, like no problems. However, um, what about the people who were fat and then lost weight and now are speaking against your narrative? They're described as the worst. There's a lot of people who have lost- Oh my goodness, everybody. Young Dumb Honey Bun is so compassionate. She is so empathetic. Young Dumb Honey Bun is showing her sympathy bone here and as a therapist, as a qualified therapist in Russia, uh, Svetlana Pavlova Zhatorchuk, I can I can attest for how much compassion she is showing for these fat people that the skinny people that used to be fat that are now not a part of the community anymore. They feel alienated. Oh my goodness! And you know who else felt alienated from a community? Clan prolad people, identified as wolf people. I don't understand it, but. Uh, I think they might have felt a little alienated. Lost weight and they saying things like, you will literally, like, I've never realized, but like, you will literally die. Like, you will, I had so many issues after my 30s. Like, I have had so many problems um, in terms of my health because of this. Like, I have had so many issues and losing weight has helped me. Then it's not listen to fat bodies. Then it's you have to unlearn and like you are the worst. Like how dare you speak against this narrative? And I don't get it. Weren't you just talking about listening to fat bodies? Are fat bodies no longer valid once they're no longer fat? Like can you only speak? And what about the people who are genuinely fat still? They class themselves as fat and say, I don't want to be like this. I want to lose weight. Well, then they're also the worst because it's internalized fat phobia and they have to unlearn that as well. Yes. How can you be in this like tunnel vision and just be like everyone who says what I think and everyone who says the same things as me is okay? Which like I just don't get it. I don't understand it. Like I get I get that it can hurt your feelings, but this is an entire movement. This isn't even just like this is even people being rude to you on the internet, right? Because I get like um deleting like rude comments off your TikTok. Okay, fair enough. Like I no problems with that. But you're speaking for an entire movement of people. You're saying like all fat people that lost weight are just the worst and like you need to unlearn this entire thing You're telling other people what to do. I don't get it. I don't understand who can and who Young dumb honey bun is just such a She's such an empathetic person. She's such a so much compassion I'm sorry to be morbid, but Amberlynn is going to die because of her pride and denial and she will be a dark lesson learned for many people out there. This is Young Dumb Honey Bun on her Young Dumb What Twitter account, Mama Bun. I hope to God she gets her shit together, but after almost four years of watching, I am facing the fact I think one day we will get the horrid news. And if that ever happens, God forbid, I will be here just to remind you of what I've been saying all this time. Spot the patterns. Stop dwelling in the past drama you refuse to resolve. Learn. Gain perspective. Stop blaming others. Get help. Get therapy. Take this and learn from it. It's dark, but feels inevitable at this point. Talking about Tamberlin's de inevitable death, okay? And now, somebody saying, uh, under one of her YouTube comments, all these videos are so blatantly public bullying, I'm sick of seeing it. And for those hiding behind the bullying saying, I'm, genu I'm genuinely concerned for her health, I decay about that. To which young dumb honey bun says, I'm not concerned for her health, I don't care, she's a horrible, per she's a horrible person and an abuser. If you're sick of seeing it, then click off and watch something else is what she said.
Okay, Miss Compassion, let's just move on. I just wanted to remind myself of how compassionate you are. Thank you. Thank you, Legna. You cannot speak. It seems to me that you are only heard and you are only valid if you are that and if you speak in line with the narrative. If you, if you in fact, confirm what they've been saying and if you align with that way of thinking, then it's Gucci, then it's okay, mm -hmm. then it's great. Mm -hmm. That's so fucking funny. 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 Do you don't take themselves too seriously. If you have a problem with that, that is your problem, that is not my problem. You need to fucking go outside and touch grass. Touch grass. Touch grass. Touch grass. Anything else, if you're fat and you say you don't want to be fat, if you ha if you were fat at one point, you struggled and now you're saying like, hey, I've lost weight and this really wasn't great for me to be this fat, then you're also the bad guy and you're also evil and you also need to unlearn everything you know and then start fresh. Which is such a scary concept, by the way, to unlearn, to like unlearn everything that you know, like unlearn it and then we'll, we'll tell you what to learn. We're not, uh, you know. It's the same, it's the same as when somebody says doctor and you assume this doctor is male. Just because I care about women and I care about my own biases and I don't want to think that only men are in these positions of authority, these positions of power, these prestigious positions. I believe that women can also be in these positions of power. You have to unlearn all of the things that we have learned Women stay home, men go work. We have to unlearn that because that's not how it is these days. You, you know what I'm saying? We have to unlearn the treating minorities and people of marginalized communities is not funny anymore. That's so gay. We have to unlearn that. As, as much fun as it's saying, oh my God, that's so gay. We were implying that that's so gay, that's so bad, that's so annoying, that's so negative. So we have to unlearn that. You asked for my help, young dumb honey bun. You needed a real therapist's help. Svetlana Pavlova Zhitorchuk, here I am. I'm helping you. That is what we mean by unlearn. Fat, bad. This person is fat. They're, they're going to be fat for a minute. So you just respect them and you unlearn that fat is always bad because you don't want to see fat, bad, black, bad, this, bad. That's what we want to unlearn because society has taught us things through television, through media, through our mothers, through our fathers. Okay. We're not professors, we're not educated in this, we're not, this is just our anecdotal evidence. So you need to unlearn everything you've learned so far from people who have much more qualifications than us. And then, you know. Young dumb honey bun is literally, literally showing her bias. Where, where is the other side? Hmm? I want to see this. Let us teach you. That is so scary. That's so scary. Can you, like, is there any fat positive doctors out there? Because that would be so scary to me. To, like, for someone to be like, no, yeah, like, gain, gain three stone. It's fine. Like, you're already, like, 20 stone. Gain another. That doesn't matter. Of course, yeah, like, that. no, sure, like, do it. I would be so scared. Is that, like, a thing? My God, maybe that's a thing. I need to have a look into it. Now, I want to talk about what happens when you make being fat your entire personality or... Okay, so I just want to talk about um, when making your degree, your whole personality, shoots you in the foot. Because when somebody asks you a question, you have no fucking clue what you're talking about. I just wanted to remind you all about this. Here, that I am not a professional, I am not a doctor. I am just a student who wanted to share her knowledge that she has accumulated over the past four or five years on the subject with her audience and that is all. Saying that, I do have a bachelor's degree um, of science in psychology and I am currently studying for my master's degree in psychiatry as well. So I do know a little bits and bobs as well as this. I if you have to constantly spout your qualifications to people, it may mean what is coming out of your mouth does not support the point you're trying to make. If you have to tell someone how qualified you are, maybe they can't hear how qualified you are. Maybe that's, maybe that's the point. And also, as soon as somebody tries to ask you about a question about pharmacology, 
something that you said you were very interested in. Cetraline help with ADHD or is this a placebo? I honestly cannot remember. I do apologize. Um, uh -huh. I have kind of repressed ev just about everything uh, from my studies, including um, pharmacology, which to be fair, I do have a big book over there and it's like, what's it called? It's like behind you somewhere and it's like um, essential pharmacology, I think. Okay, so so the bitch basically repressed everything, but yet she's she's actually like, like she knows everything. So that's just the point of what I'm like. Okay, let's just move on. I totally see where they're coming from because when you make being fat your entire identity, when I think her Instagram bio or like Instagram handle is like Liz or be eating, like it's something to do with food. And so when you make your entire thing about like weight, about food, then of course people are gonna be annoyed when you start changing it. Another person who kind of had the same problem, uh, not so long. If you make your whole personality about your degree and how busy you are, people are going to say, hey, what changed? Why are you not so busy anymore? Why are you not talking about being a therapist anymore? They're going to start asking that. And then, to put the cherry on top, Mrs. Yandam Honeybun here, uh, according to my notes, does not admit that she does not have the job she, she claims she has. She is not as busy as she claims she is. She does not work out as much as she does. She embellishes, exaggerates everything. I mean, if that's for you, that's for you. It's okay. But as a therapist, that is not acceptable, at least not in Russia. Long ago was Amberlynn Reed, who we all know and love on this channel, of course. Um, however, she obviously started her channel as a weight loss channel and then she gained hundreds of pounds by eating on camera for money and very recently she put out a video in which she was saying this is how i make my money i don't know if i want to lose weight i'm scared to lose weight i'm scared to save my life because what if i can't pay my bills anymore and this is exactly the problem that the thing that got you not right in the first place which don't get me wrong this isn't just what lizzo does right she's an amazing singer she's an amazing performer she's an amazing artist however you can't deny that a big part of her fame is this body positivity movement is her um, i think it's a documentary or some kind of show where she's trying to look for like fat dancers you think is this a video about the things that you know and the things you're interested in talking about or is this about a, a video about things you think and things maybe possibly which one is it i just want to know as a, as a qualified as qualified as she is as a therapist in the music industry i guess i've seen i've seen it advertised i haven't seen it so don't come for me but it is a big thing for her, right? It's her body positivity, it's her singing about how she doesn't need to be skinny, blah, 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 whatever. And it's great up until you want to change that. Same with Anne Boleyn. It's great when you're, you know, just eating and eating and and people are like, wow, look at this big person eating so much and she just doesn't care or she's eating so much and then she says she wants to, you know, change it, whatever, whatever. It's getting you that notoriety, it's getting you those clicks. And then when you want to change it, that's when the problem starts, because how dare you want to change what got you here in the first place? Yes, it's almost as if, is if this is not your movement, if you want to lose weight, am I being too rational here? Am I just supposed to think that this is how all fat people think, that this is how all people in this, in this fat acceptance movement think? Is that how I'm supposed to think about the world, according to Young Dam Honeybunner, Sarah L.? Or do I choose career? Hello, young Damani Ban. Is it just me? Or do I choose? career hello you need to edit this out ma'am hello i thought this was just me i was going crazy i was saying is my computer breaking right now hello you need to edit this part out okay everybody this is my this is where i went to work this is where i went to school this is my degree and um, this is my um, this is my favorite black screen. I uh, this is my favorite part of the Yigangdam Honeybun videos when she finally just gives me a moment of silence. 
a moment of sweet release, just re reprieve from the... Oh, oh, we're back. She forgot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Give her those views. Young Dumb Honey Bun's going to go to her videos and see that she has 100% viewer viewership rate. I watched the whole video. 2926. I need to look at this video and see how long it takes me to get through the parts she forgot to edit out. Holy shit! What is going on here? I want to keep doing this with the mouse so you can see how how long she forgot to edit and nobody in her... Do people even let her know in here? Is anybody letting her know at all? Nobody is... Nobody's even watching her full video letting her know. Is there a reason why you show your face in the Berlin videos you don't show your face? <laughs> Kinda cowardly to disable likes. Everybody. Can you, okay, so this is now, this is now, okay, 30.55, it started, there was, I mean, now it's black screen again, now it's black screen again, we have over, over five minutes of, of, she was going to say words, oh, okay, you guys can't see that, she was going to say words, she was going to say words over these, over these uh, receipts here, and she did not. She forgot. There is so much black screen in this in this area. Okay, and the black screen starts around two twenty six, twenty seven, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty seven, twenty. Okay, right now we're at thirty one forty. Still doing black screen. And I think honestly, it's one of those where takeaway point is that I don't understand a lot of it. I don't get a lot of it. I don't understand. I cannot it believe so much, this. Um, in terms of identity that relies on someone's body shape, like I genuinely don't get it. I get it in some instances when it's not body shape. When it's, for example, like people who are gay that really embody a lot of that identity because they're like, hey, we've been discriminated against on the basis of that. So now I want to really embody it and say like, fuck you to the world. I'm here. I exist. Now I want my rights. Fair dues, I absolutely understand that. That is literally, literally the backbone of fat acceptance. Fuck you, white men, for, for, for only, for only treating skinny white women fairly, and everyone else can go fuck themselves. If you're a different sexual orientation, a different this, a different that. So yes, naturally, some people, Trigoyalia, get out of here. Some people will think I am so fed up with all this fucking bullshit trying to repress me, trying to suffocate me. I'm so fucking tired of the bullshit that I'm just going to be everything you didn't want me to be times 10. That's probably a little bit of it. That's it. But when your entire personality is just being fat... And your entire personality is being therapist, psychology... It's like going to school. Your whole personality is based on that. And your dislike of Amberlynn. And there's no hobbies or interests or anything outside of that. I think that gets dull really quickly. I think it quickly takes over your life as well. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I'm incredibly fatphobic and controversial for that. I don't know. Maybe I am. You can let me know down below. <laughs> um, however, that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope that you have a wonderful evening and i hope that i'll see you in my next one have a wonderful day don't forget to take your medication drink your water take your vitamins and take care of yourselves i'll see you in my next one bye oh my goodness gracious holy everything that's oh my goodness first i wanted to just remind all of you of uh, sympathy bone bun here sympathy bone bun this is a tweet from our queen, Young Dumb Honey Bun, from your queen, I'm so sorry, I'm Svetlana Pavlova Zhatorchuk, I, I am my own queen. And I just wanted to show you some of the sympathy of Young Dumb Honey Bun. For someone that is so interested in identity politics, identity ideology, a fat acceptance, for somebody so interested, she seems to need so much suggestions, so much information about this she is so young the money is so sorry that she doesn't know everything about this topic she's so sorry she's not a professional then shut the fuck up
is that simple. This is my professional opi my professional opinion to Sarah L. Young dumb honey bun is just to shut the fuck up if she doesn't know about something. That's not saying I don't want you to have the conversation because you're not fat, because you're not black, because you're not gay. That's never it. You can talk about what you want, but when you're talking about it in your weird, skewed perspective, some people might say, hey, your perspective is skewed because you're not gay, because you're not fat, because you're not black, so your perspective is skewed. So that's why when you're in this conversation, you sound stupid. When you're in this conversation, oh, I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments below if that is correct. I don't know. Svalana, get out of here. It's me now. I'm going off. That's it. Tree boy Ilya with the fucking nails is going off on this bitch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, seriously, get out of here, Tree boy Ilya. You're getting too high fee. We're trying to end this very, very nicely. Stay hydrated. You must take your medication. And do not forget your coconut oil. Thank you, everybody. Have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.